the gym. The making of a mudlong. Mudlong can be. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. <laughs> made it worse. The sex is not important to Mudlong, but they're a salamander. They have the body of the warrior. They have the gift of structural clairvoyance. Average physique. Nothing out of the ordinary. The face of a jubilant being. The hair of a jubilant being. Dark red hair. A reminder of his red hair. Now just ramp up those hormones. <laughs> Weaken them. Make them dreadfully immature. Go ahead and, and, and widen him out. I think he needs it a little bit. Recess chins are fine, but salamanders simply do not have them. They just don't have a chin. They, they're they gonna have artistic liberties. <laughs> In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. Now, in case you missed it, the opening cutscene sets up that the game is going to have fog, which fog shadows the fog doors. If you know what I'm saying, I'm being really conscientious of the forests, um, as Smokey me don't light fires now, up here is the boulder so you can just let that do its thing now pop open the door to the bonfire even though you're never going to use it in your life in here is oscar isaac from the hit movie annihilation he talks too much so we can just cut to the chase now this guy is arlo alleywell he's uh, one of the more difficult hollows in in this particular area um known for his lunging move so, um, in order to defeat him most practically, we're gonna want to hit the wall so hard that the kinetic energy kills him instantly. So Mudlung's best buddy Benjamin lost his spine in a fatal accident. <laughs> and Mudlung tried to get him a new spine, but was arrested for Grand Theft Autonomic System. When he escaped from prison, because all of the wardens were dead, <laughs> he risks his parole in the ire of the Goonslayer police to find Bender new to new spine. And he's only looking for the finest spines. That's not an item I needed. Curly I spine is the devil's roller coaster. Come again? A curly spine De is the devil's rolling. Pick up this soul. Make your way to the downtown. Grab these. Yeet yourself over here. Grab this. Go ahead and grab this. Don't worry about being in a graveyard. Dead people can't hurt you. Skeletons are for aesthetics. Yeah, like I said, remember, you're they're they're harmless because because they're skeletons. Yeah. Um. So. Damn, the wind is blowing really hard today. You're gonna want to take the classic route, which involves grab this. Oh, jump down here to avoid uh, the the wind and its sharp gales. <laughs> he was like, wow, what a pretty view, and then he rolled off. He was like that guy, he was like, wow, what a pretty view, and then he rolled off. This guy, though, he's too cool to do that, so you will stab him in the backbone. Wait, no, I dropped them. Okay, I thought I... Okay. Make sure to swing by Grubbins of the Seventh Realm and purchase the Yeet spell from him and learn his moves. <laughs> we're not killing him, we're just testing his spine. He's not doing so great under the street. He's trying to punch me. You're going to love it, Travis. You're punching me. You fool, you were me. Why don't you use it? So step two, after you get the Yeet spell, you're going to want to take the elevator down to... Hey, would you like a great place to live with a little bit of flooding and no ghosts? We don't know the name of this place anymore because it's lost to time and water damage, but you should come down to it. We got everything here. We have not ghosts. We have not ghosts coming out of the ground. We have a lack of ghosts attacking you as you enter a fog wall. We have a goon sitting atop the roof of the Cathedral of Not Ghosts. We have bows to kill the goon sitting atop the Cathedral of Not Ghosts. We add it sealed up on the balcony, break in case of goon. You whip it out, shoot the goon on the cathedral. Here we have some commentary from our, 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 our ecstatic civilians. That's right, there are no civilians, because the goon is dead. Duke, if you're here looking for ghosts, you will not find not no ghosts. This guy, he thinks the esk dock is really cool. He's right, but it's not his. Get away from it. Now, I went and grabbed this item, and that was probably a bad idea. We really didn't need a parrying dagger, and I'm now surrounded by things that don't exist. So it's really not a big deal at all. Yeah, so if... As well as ghosts being real, Thanos isn't real either. And this child doesn't know what he's talking about. So now that he's dead and you had a whopping, what, one arrow left because you missed two and that's not at all anxiety inducing, you have the key. Now go ahead, whip open that seal door, push this lever, 
honk. <laughs> so why did you go into this not haunted place? Well, oh, well, to, because one, I needed that. I don't know why. So, there are a couple heart attacks here. You don't need to worry about that, Jesus. You see, you're not supposed to be up here yet, but I'm just so absolutely terrified that I'm gonna go ahead and take a detour. So you need one attunement slot, and you need 12 faith, and it appears we're missing part of the formula. Let me introduce this guy. I'm going to stab him in the ass, he's going to fall down here. Then I'm going to make him fall for one of the classic blunders. And just yeet him off the cliff. I don't even need the yeet spell to do that. Go ahead, sit down at the bonfire, level up faith twice. Maybe three times, just because you can. You should have jumped all the way down yeah, this. I think you were survived or waving back up. To jump all the way down. Ah. Perfect landing. Yeah, it stuck the landing. 10 out of 10. Thank you. Now, while you're taking in the beautiful scenery of the Valley of the Drakes, don't forget about the Drakes in the Valley that kill you instantly, because that's just what the- <laughs> Grab a store straight sword. That's not the one I meant to grab. Was it this one? Nope, it wasn't that one either. Jumping is not the same thing as rolling. You hit him. See the little bit damage there. Oh, shit! Admire the pretty surface one last time before we delve down to the even prettier. Notice that it immediately turns a shade of green, which means plants, you know, clean energy down here. It's gonna be beautiful. Everyone down here is eco friendly, and that's why it's all made of wood. Like these massive sequoia trees, because the bigger the tree, the bigger the environment. The bigger the tree, the bigger the environment. You know? White Town really is a place where there's a lot of blight. Frick, I couldn't see the ladder, man. Blight Town's kind of dark, huh? Oh, how do I get back? Oh, no. Oh, no. How do I get back up? No! Right, so the Mosquito Armada, uh, cousins of Groove Armada, are now closing in on me at unprecedented rate. Stop it. I can't even see what is in front of me. <laughs> no, no, not up here. This ain't the place. There's a time and a place for everything. But Professor Oak is saying it's not now. What, Professor Woke? Am I right? Bum at That was not. That was two feet. Can't even see. I got. That is the most ominous thing I've ever heard. Get off the cliff. Get off the cliff. Off the cliff. Not me. I'm not supposed to get. Where am I? Okay. It is bleach season. What the frick? What the frick? I don't know why he was the first one to figure out where I was. Did he even figure out where I? Did he just decide to move? Where the hell is he slinking to? Okay, now I need to just freaking run. The bugs in Blight Town are actually very kind to you. All you gotta do is say, Hello, Blight Town bug. And they will go beyond their way. Hello, Blight Town bug. Ah! Ah! The greatest threat, I would reckon, is gonna be Milliger. It's like Milliger if you... <laughs> this is where you fight a big man. Uh, big bow. He's careful. And he will beat you. Milliger? Mildred? Mildred! Stop! Mildred, stop! Worst comes to worst, I did what I needed to do. But I'd rather worse not come to worse, so back off. I'm going to climb up into the tree of... I don't know, it goes, so this, something goes on in this tree, but... Look, I mean, look, here in Blight Town, they plant in massive trees. So, like, that's pretty environmentally friendly, in my opinion. I've been able to get to the bottom of the tree without taking any fall damage, because I'm just... Okay, you know what does do damage to them? Falling, and they... I didn't... Hey, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna not slip off that edge that I almost slipped off. Uh, you guys need to cool it. Your jets... Like I just cooled permanently as he goes into rigor mortis. Are you all just leaping to your death? What is happening right now? This is why we get the yeet spell. They are here to be yeeten. Okay, you yeeted in the wrong direction, chief. Freaking hell. <laughs> okay. What? He survived the yeeting. Let me yeet you all the way to the bottom. You belong. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? How am I supposed to... You know what? Problem solved. That's a lot of toddlers. Yo. Toddler? <laughs> More like... <laughs>
Oh, you punched it, no damage. What do, they, what do you know? What do you know? Yeet. See this? This is that fog they were talking about in the beginning. The whole place is shrouded in it, especially this next area. For ahead of us lies. See, dragon scales are important because part of this build, you no, know, since I'm gonna be a, a salamander, requires me to have enough scales to completely coat my body. Hey, okay, this is a bombing run. This is absolutely normal. Hell, hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just running under this tree. Hey, uh, necky, stretchy necky, necky to a stretchy. Did you know hydras have guns? Where are those meant to go? Oh, oh, right next to me. <laughs> Foolish Hydra. Yeet! Thought he could hit me with water. <laughs> I'm immune. So right here is the, um, the Doctor the Dragon. He gives you some advice, but you can't become a salamander just yet. You need to collect more scales. These people down here right here planting mad trees too. The environment must be bustling down here. Look at the ecosystem here. We got clams. We got snake mollusks. There's probably, there's probably something else down there too. Yeah, come people and create best friends. Kill the salamander too. Yeah, down in underbody lake. Yeah, they go. Enjoying the wicked tight weather. Well, frankly. So maybe that hydro was a little bit much, but we can remedy this. More importantly, this sword we got earlier, it's called the Hello? I just want to see its name. The Sever. Made especially for severing heads. Um. What hit me? Oh, it's the sneaky one that I... Speaking of sneaky... Alright, you're gonna get watered. <laughs> you got wet. Ah, crystals can't get wet or they die. Frick this, I'm gonna half-ass the transformation. I'm gonna be partially salamander and then I'm going to make seafood. Water's the main thing. We well, you know it's super effective against water? Fire. It just obliterates their heads. Now obviously, at this point, we have enough dragon skills, but the problem is, covering yourself in salamander bits hampers you down a little bit. So before we permanently mar our speed, we gotta find a way to boost it inherently. So here, you will find the spinning cats of Abdul. He was going to spin, but he kind of fell off the cliff, so you can see where that would be a problem for him. Come on and spin. What's that? What's the mushroom doing down here? It's a mushroom territory. I always want some sauteed mushroom. Jeez! No respect to toddlers. That's a big wall up there. That's a. That's a. That's a hokey skybox up there. Just run behind the cutscene trigger, grab that ring, and back out of it. You can just jump right back down down here. And lucky for us, this is really all the health you'll need for this next part. I'm gonna go ahead and use a humanity. So this guy's kind of a noob. Everyone classic wonders one day or another. You just happen to do it. Wait, wait. Huh. He's not falling for the classic wonders, and that's stressing me out. Oh, boy, boy, that was a pretty classic one. Really so, so now that you have all of the required items, you're going to want to whip open your crafting menu. you got to put the stone gauntlets in with all of the other things. Um, and you got to... Yeah, hold on one second. Okay, you got to go ahead... Bumass. Hold on. Give me a moment, I need to CRAFT MY MINECRAFT ITEM! It's really quite simple. So now you've forged, so now you've created the perfect- And just like that, your arms and legs are perfect. Absolutely stunning. But we're not done yet, because your chest looks like a mess. But how is Mudlong supposed to dodge the gigantic crystal be behemoths? Well, it turns out, the, the salamander- So what you're gonna wanna do is throw on the Havel Ring. This way, you will be able to avoid all of their attacks. Hmm. How'd that do it?
the gusts are a little strong down here, but it's nothing I can't handle. No, it's a freaking warlock. Is cook, cook them alive. Okay, have it your way, hell wagon. Oh. Okay, there's wind up ahead. I should probably go back. Luckily, he's a fire mage, and the winds are on my side, meaning he will die. Actually, I killed him with fire, so that makes a little bit less sense. You know, I'm really disappointed with the wind. There was a day when it would blow me away from pushing the lever, but no more. If you stand at just the right angle, the wind can't hit you, and it will instead throw itself into the void, where it will blow no more. <laughs> hey, see this guy? You ever heard of that game, Hunt Down the Bumass? You come on, old man, but you can also die. <laughs> I'm really bridging gaps here. Oh, oh, no. And across it, we go. Ow. Okay. Okay, 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 it's fine, I'm just gonna go this way, I'll change my mind and Stop! Okay, what? <laughs> no, no, just <laughs> stop me like- Just throw yourself down into the pit of wheel wind. There's a little bit of cloak, pick that up. Oh my god, my brain is melting. There it is. Mudlung is complete. Now all you must do is fulfill the Yeet spell's purpose. Hi, right, it's, it's, it's been a while, I haven't. Um, oops, to answer your question, no. Hollow Knight will probably not be next, but it will at least be the one after that. I, I promise, I promise. Two videos from now isn't exactly much of a time frame either. We know how that goes. Speaking of time frames, I gotta give a really big thank you to my patrons because you've been really, really patient. So I'm gonna just read all of your names individually. Thank you. To Geek, Yan Sawa, Maya, Nertems, Zai, Fry, also known as Maelstrom, Nazarim, Dorati, Terminally Capricious, Trout, Hell Tanner, <laughs> Hifiro, Meepster, Morgan, Scrabbit, Tank Facts, also known as Warlock. Thank you all very much. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button with your face and also fall and accidentally hit the subscribe button. Thank you. I know I have a lot of series to catch up on here, so I'm gonna finish Hollow Knight and then I'm gonna make Rain World videos. I'll see you guys soon. I'm so sorry. Why does uh, Mr. Mr. Souls like essentially moan whenever he's hurt? <laughs>